Hi Capertuyadi, I am Domingo Freire and you're again in your favorite woodworking and DIY channel and today I will show you how to make this Christmas project. For this project we are going to use MDF that is half an inch thick. I recommend you cut a template made with cardboard to transfer the drawing to the MDF board. Using a graphite pencil we draw the drawing of our advent calendar in the shape of a Christmas pine. We are going to draw the outline of the drawing and the center of the 24 circles in which we will later place some chocolates of the same size. So that the cardboard does not move while we trace in the drawing, I recommend using paper adhesive tape. You can do this project with a plywood board or like me, using MDF. You can also change its shape and size according to what you like best. We are going to cut out the rectangular base piece and the pine shaped piece using the jigsaw. I recommend using a special cutting blade for a straight cuts. To cut this board with precision you can use your jigsaw at maximum speed and with little forward pendulum movement. This is how we obtain the base piece and the pine tree of my advent calendar in which we are going to place the 24 chocolates. I'm going to use a cup bead with my Work Pro 20 volt cordless drill to make the holes. I recommend you buy this drill that comes with a kit of accessories that are very useful for any woodworking project. I'm going to use a 1 inch diameter drill bit because it's the right size to later place these chocolates on my advent calendar. To make these holes you must select the drill function and the power number 2. We are going to drill halfway through the board, then we are going to flip the piece over and drill in the same spot until we are done drilling. With this technique we will prevent the cut piece from remaining inside the cup bit and in this way we will work faster. See how easy it is to remove the MDF piece to continue working. I need to make a slot in the base piece to insert the pine tree. I'm going to use a half inch spade bit to make two holes that I'll then cut together with my jigsaw. To refine the edges and achieve the corners you can use a wood file.
After testing if both pieces fit, we proceed to sand the edges. To paint the whole project, I'm going to use a soft hair warper brush that is perfect for applying flat colors. Here you can see how soft the hair of the brush is, do not mark brush strokes when painting. Once the painting is dry, we join the two pieces with wet glue. To give an interesting finish, I'm going to mix the white glue with a little glitter and cover the pine with this mixture. When this varnish dries, it will be transparent and will have the shine of the golden glitter, giving our little tree a cheerful touch. Finally, we place the chocolates in our advent calendar so that day by day we can look forward to Christmas Day with sweetness. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you like this little Christmas project. Merry Christmas. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next video.